Hey, what's up my fellow nerds? It's Sal with another video. Uh, today's my day off. I feel like doing some videos. Uh, hopefully you guys like this one. Um, this is gonna be my first, my first actual, one of my videos. I mean, one of my costumes that I always wanted as a kid. Always wanted as a kid. Um, maybe this will give you a hint. And what is it? Well, let me you guys show you something, all right? You guys know I'm a huge, huge, I'm probably the biggest, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan, but I will say my, the best superhero, the best vigilante that I like from any comics, I love Marvel, but when it comes to superheroes, my favorite is Batman, second one, Superman, I will say third one, Spider-Man, Wolverine, and then the rest, Iron Man, and so on. Um, but when it comes to comics, Batman and Superman, Batman being the first one, the the one I like the most, is my favorite superhero. And let me give you guys a little of what I'm gonna show you guys right now. Yep, this guy right here. Now, you guys will say, well, that's nipples. Uh, Batman nipples or Batman forever. How come you like that one? Now, let me tell you why. Favorite Batman actor used to be, I will say to me it's 50-50 between, let me see, between Michael, Ke uh, Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton, Michael, I, I, I mean Keaton or Keaton, I'll, Everybody pronounces it different, Michael Keaton. Um, and Ben Affleck, it's 50-50. Uh, I tend to like Ben Affleck a little bit better, uh, but before, Michael Keaton was my, my favorite Batman. Uh, I grew up with him, I'm from the 80s. Um, born in 85, I was probably, I remember seeing Batman, the first Batman when I was like three years old. Yeah, I actually remember that. 33 years and a half years old. Batman Returns, one of my favorite superhero movies. If if not, I will say, I mean, No Way Home just came out and Spider-Man hit the spot, especially when when Tobey Maguire came out, my favorite Spider-Man. Uh, second will be Tom Holland, but Andrew Garfield kicked ass in this movie, but that's another story, which I actually, actually have, I'm in the process of acquiring and hopefully I do get it. That's probably like one of my my bucket list to get a Spider-Man from Tobey Maguire, a, a Spider-Man suit, a replica. I'm not talking about the ones that cost like $200, $300, which they look great, that's, that's what you like. But I'm buying, you guys will see, um, this suit, I can't wait. I seen this suit from years ago and I got it from a, the one that brought it up, I didn't know he made it. I actually saw him on my first Freddy mask, which was uh, my second Freddy mask was uh, Andrea Lianza's, Lianza's mask, which I put it on Facebook. This guy hit me up. Hey, I want to buy it, this, this, and that. I'm getting too much into, I'm going out of the the whole thing while we're here, but let me just give you guys a little, just so you guys what what to expect on my future videos, like I mentioned. I'm gonna try to do at least one video every two weeks if I can one one every week of all the costumes that I have or I'm building action figures hopefully you guys tune in let me know what you guys like seeing better when I do the costumes or the figures um but yeah um this guy comes up and tells me I want to buy the mask and then he tells me I, I make spider-man suits and I'm like, oh cool I didn't, didn't think of any any of it uh guy was cool really cool we have the same interest as far as like comics and a lot of uh, the shows, anime, they used to come out in Mexico. He watches them, which I was like so surprised. And I was like, ooh, geeking out with him. This guy is called, his name, He's he calls himself El Fet. Now, if you're into cosplaying, if you're into like the whole costuming community when it comes to Batman, Spider-Man, Deadpool, you know who's El Fet. So yes, El Fet lives nearby, not too close, but I would say about 40 minutes away from me. I met him, really cool guy. So I'm in the process right now of getting his muscle suit. As soon as I get that muscle suit, I'm gonna get going, start going with the, the Spider-Man suit. So just, just to give you guys a heads up of what's coming. But anyways, Batman Returns. Uh, Michael Keaton in my second. Uh, Van Kilmer. 
Uh, well, I liked the movie when I was young. I liked it, but not as much as Batman Returns or Batman 1989. But that being said, I like the Panther suit better than the Michael Keaton one. Why? Because it's more slim, more, I don't know if it's more natural, even with the nipples, even with the nipples. I just feel like the, it looks more sleek. Now to my face, the, I feel like the Michael Keaton cow wouldn't fit me better. I wouldn't fit me good because I see a lot of cosplayers buy those cows, which the cows look amazing, but it fits loose on, around them. I wanted something more like tight to my face. I have a small head, 21 inches and a half, which is fucking tiny, flat head in the back. But I wanted something more that it will fit my face more firmly. Now, this cow, guys, this badass cow, which I actually have, in, I have another one coming in. Just because I feel like this one is a little bit too shiny. Um, then again, yeah, it's a little bit too glossy, which is not bad. It looks perfect. The faceplate is actually a, uh, Van Kilmer's faceplate, which it was sent to me by the maker, which I'm going to make this video uh, in a bit. Uh, super con uh, Superhero Concepts. He sent me the faceplate, so you can take it out. That's uh, Van Kil uh, Val Kilmer's faceplate. Um, but yeah. The cow is made by Iconic FX. Iconic FX makes, it, makes this cow. Uh, when I was buying the suit, unfortunately, he wasn't making them. Uh, I got it from a, a group member on Facebook from the UK. It was actually from the UK. Got it for $180. Good price, in my opinion. It's made out of urethane. Uh, I believe I'm pronouncing it correct. Urethane, which is like similar to latex, but it's actually sturdier but yeah he he sent to me for 180 ship i had no problem when i got the new the the suit from superhero concepts i noticed this one's a little bit shinier which i believe once i when when i see the val kilmer's uh suit when i was watching the movie it has to kind of match so lucky enough iconic effects i follow them on instagram he puts a, a post, he's making three of them only. A limited run, three of them. Right away, I told him, make me one. Uh, I have this one here, like, yeah, this is the one I made about three years ago. It's still amazing, in my opinion. It's badass. I'm not, I don't know if I want to sell it, but if I want to keep it and just put it in a stand, it's just, hopefully you guys see it, but uh, Val Kilmer's faceplate goes right there. But I just like the panther suit. Uh, I like the panther cow better than the Michael Keaton one. Um, I'm thinking of getting a BVS, Ben uh, Affleck uh, costume suit cow. Because it comes with the muscle suit and everything. So no problem. It's just my face. My face is kind of roundish, like eggish. I don't know. And me being Hispanic, uh, you know, it's it's tough buying a cow you being hispanic you got that the brown skin when oh, you when you know it was like a um caucasian american white person under the zoo which uh, but it doesn't look bad uh, i'm actually glad i bought it uh glad i pulled the trigger At the end of the day we're all geeks is uh dc universe multiverse i guess the mexican batman <laughs> anyways guys uh but yeah but when it comes to suits the panther suit is my favorite one. Now, I cannot do a video. You guys will be like, why would you do a video and not wear the goddamn like cow? Like why? This cow is just, let me open the window guys so you guys can see better. Hopefully that's better. Um, and I'm, I'm recording through the front face of the, the front camera on the iPhone. So quality is not gonna be the same as the back camera, but I wanted to see myself talking. But yeah, guys, this is the cow. That's the the emblem. I have two emblems. I have one right here and one over here. That's the black one, and that's the original one for the suit. Now, um, love this cow. Love it. Can't wait to get the other one. I want to see what's the difference between a, a three-year-old Euro thing uh, cow by the same maker and the new one. He says the new one is more of a black uh matte black like a uh like a flatter black not too shiny i love this one but it's just that with the suit when i bought it it just you can tell the difference 
and hope uh, most likely we'll be selling this one probably pretty much for the same price without the of course without the base plate i'm gonna keep the base plate but that's until i see the other one is coming it should be here thursday uh hopefully i'll make a video next week about it but yeah guys uh stay tuned for the next video that's where i'm gonna put this i'm gonna paint my eyes i'm not gonna freaking um just put it on with no um eye makeup because it looks ridiculous um stay tuned i'll be back with the next video so watch the second part for the superhero concept suit along with the funtasma got them 100 boots which i just got too that's what i was waiting for so i could show you guys the whole costume hopefully i could put it on myself too because it's a bitch to put on by yourself all right stay tuned guys all right guys so this is the video hopefully you guys tune in for part two of this um and you guys know I love Batman. That's a 1-6 scale. 1-6 scale BBS Batmobile from Jazz Inc. Dioramas, which was custom made for one in each person. If you're lucky enough, if you got one, if you got if you got one of this Batmobile, let me show you the size of this thing. That's my hand. That's a wheel. It's just huge. It's under my coffee table. Let me show you how big it is. Yes, that's a sandal. That's a Batmobile. Uh, but I love Batman. You guys already know I have the 1989. Uh, they're, they're both iconic. They both have similarities to a Tumblr. I have the Tumblr as well, but I don't have it out here or anywhere. The 89 is in the room. It's displayed. But anyways, you guys seen that in another video. Uh, it's not Hot Toys, but in my opinion... Since Hot Toys didn't make it, I'm glad they made it right here. And I, uh, I'd rather give my money to a small company than Hot Toys. Hot Toys are, to tell you the truth, they're, they're idiots when it comes to DC because they can make so much money making DC stuff, but they decide to just do Marvel, which is okay for all the Marvel fans. But a lot of our, us more DC fans, which again, guys, don't say I don't like Marvel because I love Marvel, guys. I love Marvel. Um, I figure I see the top over there. I love Marvel, but a lot of us DC guys don't get the love uh, when it comes to Batman and certain movies. But anyways, again, that's hopefully I could. I would love to make a video, but there's so many videos about that. Okay, so this is what we're here for. The cow. You guys, are, I already talked about it. Now that I have better lighting. Hopefully you guys can see it. It has a little shine to it, but I'm I'm getting the other one coming in. It's made out of urethane. So what what kind of sucks about urethane is that it doesn't really stretch a lot. It stretches. It's really durable. It's really thick. It's like latex. It feels like latex, but it's thicker. It feels it feels like smooth, rubbery tire material. These iconic effects, a lot of people like to cut a slit in the back of the cows to make them fit better. I don't I don't want to do that. Reason why, uh, if I ever want to sell it, nobody's going to buy, buy it with that. But that's basically this right here, guys. And if you guys see the, the similarities, it's like identical. Perfect, perfect cow. Hopefully, you guys can see it, but let me see. It's a perfect cow. And don't worry about the ugly ass green trailer. <laughs> but it's the perfect cow. In my opinion. What are we here for? Superhero Concepts. He's a maker. His name is Larry. Really nice guy. Really cool guy. I have him on Instagram. I, fig I found out about this because one of my friends, old managers, he's a Batman nerd as well as me. Like just as me. I seen that he was gonna buy a Michael Keaton, which it's that one right there. Michael Keaton suit. I asked him, dude, that's one of my dreams to have a Batman suit, especially a Panther suit. And I didn't even think the guy made Panther suits. I thought it was just Michael Keaton, 1989 or Batman Returns. Well, to my, to like, to my surprise, he actually did. Right away, I contacted him. Now, this is not a cheap suit, guys. This is not something you find at Party City. It's not something you're gonna find at Halloween Spirit or in in the like Halloween stores overall. Like this is the real deal. Now, right right away, guys. I know what you guys are thinking. The nipples. I have to go with the nipples. Why? And they're like just 
stuck in there. I had to go with the nipples to keep the the suit as its original as from the movie. What do you get when it comes to superhero concepts? Uh, now, you get different things depending on what you want to go with. He did mention that if I wanted the whole suit, including the cow, which again, my head is small, he had only a 24 inch um, iconic, a, a 24 inch cow available. I wanted something smaller. This is a 23 inch. Again, even a 24 is gonna be hard to put on. But I told him, I'll look for the cow separate. Let me just do the suit, which consists of the gloves which look exactly the same as the movie. If you go back and see the movie, they look exactly like this. They even have the zipper. It's like a, it looks like an exact replica to me. I did ask, he has different sizes uh, for the gloves. I asked for a medium size, which they fit me perfect. They have the gauntlets. Now, in the shipping, one of the gauntlet uh, pieces, uh, the fins came off. I just used super glue. He told me to use a little bit of super glue, little dots, and they fix it. No problem right there. So it comes with the gloves. It comes with a urethane, urethane um, belt. It's all one piece. It's all made out of one cast. Are they going to be imperfections? I know there's going to be people, oh, there's some perfections on the urethane, woo -woo, and all this shit. Nobody's going to see this shit at night, man. First of all, if you're Batman... Uh, say, I will say this battle damage this right here some people are picky as hell some of the groups oh it has bubbles it has something is it perfect uh, I don't think nothing's perfect in life I don't think so in my opinion um, and if you expect something for it to be perfect then you're gonna be dis disappointed a lot in life but anyways to me it's perfect it's beautiful uh, it is one piece it's rubbery it comes with a a strap in the bag to just to put it on so it comes with the belt now it's just a black belt you could ask for it yellow or gold whatever you want to paint it i was going to get to unfortunately his cast ripped or something like that in the process so he was only able to send me one anyways other than that guys comes with the mask and the suit so let me get the suit hang it up so you guys can see how is it and how does it work? What is it made of? And then, oh, and the cape. But that's what comes in the box. That's what I asked for. If you go for the full suit, the way I got it, I believe it was eleven hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, around around eleven hundred dollars without the mess, without the the actual cow. They said a lot. Yes, but you'll see how badass this is. It's worth every penny, in my opinion. If you're a Batman fan. Man, if you have the money, if you have a wife that le wife that lets you buy stuff like this, go for it. This is made out of latex. It's not made out of a uh, urethane because I know there's a lot some makers that make it out of urethane, but you're looking at a two thousand dollar suit just for the suit. Uh, I don't believe there's no gloves involved or or like the cape is separate. So for eleven hundred dollars with everything except for the cow, fourteen hundred with the cow. Perfect. Now, if you can see the difference, guys, this is more of a matte finish. This is more of a glossy finish, but it still looks perfect with each other. But I'll show you guys how it looks and how it looks once it's put onto. All right, guys. So this is a suit. Um, uh, what can I say? It's pretty. It looks pretty. Oh, one of the things too. It does come with the emblems. Uh, I think I mentioned in the last. Comes with that one. I'll take it out right now. And it comes with an all black one, but the same. It's just a different color. That's the original one when the movie be, uh, begins for Batman Forever. And then the, this is the one towards the end. Uh, I requested two. He sent them to me at a, no extra charge, which was pretty cool. Um, I have Velcro already on both the suit and on the uh, emblem, um, chest emblem. Because... Uh, it's either you could attach it to the mask, which I know is going to be harder. I do recommend if you put it on here, use some type of crazy glue just so it can stick better. But anyways, the suit is here. What I liked and captured my eyes, and I was just like, that's the one I'm going with. I see a lot of makers, not all of them, but a lot of makers. 
they just use a, a, a regular fabric, which you can see the difference here. And if this fabric was not painted with whatever he uses, it kind of blends in better. Um, some don't do it. I like how he actually uses it. He doesn't use it all over the costume. I mean, all over the suit, but it gives you an idea that uh, it blends in better. Uh, one of the things that this one doesn't have that I see other muscle suits have is the back pieces, the the glutes, the the traps, like by the shoulders and such. Uh, it doesn't come with that. Um, but then again, who's gonna? want to lift your cape just to see your ass the cape is a pretty nice cape i was filming another video guys but it's a pretty nice cape it's like a it's pretty long too i asked for mine to be a little bit longer so it has this vinyl latex feel to it it's like regular lining in the in the inside and it has like this like clean look on the outside and it, it flows pretty nice. It doesn't like, it's not stiff. When it came in, I already had put it in the thing. It was just like folded really neatly. I have taken it out a couple of times. That's just how excited I've been with this suit. Um, yeah, this, this suit is badass. Once it, it goes on and everything's put together, you guys will see how badass this is look, but superhero concepts, man, this guy is amazing. Great customer service. He responds fairly quick. Super fast shipping. It took like a, like all in all, it took about a month for, for me to receive this suit. Uh, that's including uh, the shipping. I'm in LA and he's in Australia. And after he shipped it, I got it within like a week and a half, which was amazing. Probably he had it ready already. And he does make it up to your measurements or close to your measurements. So it doesn't fit loose, it doesn't fit too tight, it just fits perfect. I need to get in shape. All this pandemic stuff has made me slack off a lot. But anyways, who needs to get in shape when you got all these muscles, right? <laughs> uh, let me get to get, to, uh, get you guys to the boots and then I'll put on the suit. And, all right. All right guys, and these are the boots. They, made, they are made by Funtasma. Foon Tasma boots. They're the closest things you're gonna get to a Batman boot without spending on the real deal $200, $300. I got the small ones. I wear usually on shoes anywhere from, uh, I was saying my, my regular shoe size is nine and a half. Sometimes the shoes I buy are size 10, sometimes they're size nine. These are the small ones. They fit me perfect. I still got room on them, so they run a little bit big. Just to give you a heads up. Um, Depending on your size, you will have to go based on that. But these are the Gotham 100s. Got them from Amazon after shipping. Uh, even with Amazon Prime, they come out to $90. All right, I already tried them on. They fit me perfect. Not too loose, not too tight. They're just perfect. Let me take them out of here. Sorry, guys. So why this boots and not the original ones? I just like the style. Again, the boots are more of a matte finish. That's what I'm wearing for the cow, but I love the style. It's just perfect around the uh, calf. They fit perfect. Let me see if I could. I'm just showing you guys. I have it on my hand, but I love the style. It gives you of a military look it has a zipper all the way to the side the calf i have 15 inch, inch calves all around which they're not big but they fit me perfect on the, on the medium size one i mean the small uh, size ones in my opinion these are the best boots if you don't want to spend a lot if you just have a batman suit whichever this one's fit perfect all right now let me get the suit going guys the boots are made they're not real leather probably pleather vinyl not sure but I mean, if you're not gonna be wearing those boots every day, so that's fine. I would say to get rid of that crease, you could just stuff this, which I'll do once I actually go cosplaying or whatever. So I'll stuff them, use ste a steam, uh, use steam, and just remove that line so it could stay in shape like that. All right, guys. So let me get the suit going. Hopefully, I could get it on, and we go from there. 
All right, guys, so I got the muscle suit on. Um, just wanted to give you guys a, a little, it's so hard. I don't have nobody right now in the house to help me out put the suit, like to slip it up from the back. As you can see, I'm trying to reach all the way to the top and I can't. So this is the reason why the, the shoulders kind of don't sit into place because the zipper needs to go all the way up. Um, so it could go around my shoulders, which is so hard to do with, uh, with yourself. See, I just can't reach all the way to the top. I'm trying to, and I can't. But anyways, you guys get the idea if it was to be sipped all the way to the top. Now, one thing I want to mention, guys, this suits, they're all latex. So you're always going to have that flex around the shoulders. So what you could do and what I'm planning to do is just put like pads inside the, the soup right here so it wouldn't fold a lot but then again it shows a lot for the same reason that it's not zipped up all the way to the top uh, i have worn this when it's zipped up and you cannot see the crease as bad again you could pat the inside but let me give you guys a, a look of the suit without um the belt without the cave just to give you an idea it looks badass I like how it actually kind of blends in on the sides. Now, if you guys, like I said, the bad guys, I'm gonna have no ass. Uh, <laughs> need to work on them, do them squats. Um, is it hard to move? Yes, it's a Batman suit. It's not the, the Dark Knight, uh, Christopher Nolan bat suit, which will be easier to move. Can you still move? Yes. Can you do poses? Yes, but you're kind of limited. Now, I have the emblem for the original uh, the beginning of the movie um, I have the black one too if you guys want to see how it looks let me give you an idea and again guys all I did was just put velcro and you could swap them out swap them out uh, I like both they look badass this one looks more sleek but if you want something to stand out then this is the one, the golden black. Uh, but yeah, guys, so the back, no armor in the back, just the front. <clears throat> but it goes almost all the way to the side. The pin he uses to kind of like blend it in, it goes all the way. Now, hopefully you guys can see, uh, I'm kind of far away from the camera. I have the front video facing camera. Um, so it goes up to here, the paint. And then nothing else but uh this is the batman so this is from superhero concepts hope you guys like it so far uh i know i talk a lot but uh just check out the quality there's some um i know there's some people that actually make a suit with the with the emblem kind of sits inside the suit which looks pretty cool but nobody's gonna everybody's gonna be seeing the front once with the cape is like doesn't really stand out with that look as bad but I believe it goes right here. yeah um I do have my face painted because uh in the movies once Batman takes out the cow the raccoon the raccoon uh raccoon uh, eyes go away which is kind of weird uh but you know that's how it's supposed to look that's why I like the the idea of the new Batman coming out 2022 um, which I'm super excited for Pat Patterson to play the, the Cape Crusader. Um, see what he does. The, so far, the the demo trainers look amazing. For that, it's so hard, guys. Uh, the trailer looks amazing for for the Batman. Can't wait to watch it. Uh, I'm actually as excited for the Flash to see Michael Keaton come back and play the Batman role, which I'm kind of bummed out that Ben Affleck just announced yesterday that that was his last Batman. Uh, that's the last time he's gonna suit up for Batman, which I, I hope he comes back later for it. And that's not the last one, because in my opinion, Ben Affleck was the best Dark Knight. Michael Keaton is the best comic book Batman. No, Ben Affleck, best comic book Batman but when it comes to nos nos nostalgia uh, Michael Keaton but you guys are seeing guys it's coming together the cape um, does go 
all the way to the bottom. Hopefully you guys can see it. Let me kind of put the, the camera a little bit more down so you guys can see the what I was talking about that I actually asked the maker, Superhero Concepts, Larry, to if he could do the cape all the way almost to the bottom. And, because I don't, I didn't want it to be like up here, which looks cool, but I just wanted it to be more long. It's coming along, guys. Hope you guys are liking the video so far. It's a long video. There is a badass suit, and like I mentioned, guys, I always wanted a Batman suit, and I'm I'm glad I pulled the trigger. The shoulders. This thing is getting on my nerves because I didn't zip it all the way up. So. Okay, now the boots, guys. No, now you are gonna be restricted. Oh, I'm sorry, the belt. You are gonna be restricted to to your movements a little bit. Um, and it just clips on. Nothing crazy. It's just a, a clip on in the back. Just when he made it a little bit too loose for me, I guess he thought it was a little bit fatter, which I don't blame him. Based on my measurements. Um, there you go. Uh, so to, to sit down guys let me it's it's hard guys it's hard it's hard doing this by myself i usually have my girl my kids helping me let me put on the boots like i said the boots i have now wore them outside but they fit perfect size nine i'm a nine and a half this one are the small ones the calf the calf uh, around the, the thickest part of the the leg they fit perfect, no issues at all. Jesus. Again, guys, hopefully I can edit the video, which is gonna take me a while to edit, but if you guys like it. <clears throat> no, guys, when I say that the maker made my, my costume, and I got it in less than a month or around a month and a half tops. Um, take into consideration, it really depends on the time when you order the costumes. Sometimes this uh, makers, they have so many orders. So be patient. Uh, don't start messaging them. Don't start telling them, oh, cancel my order, you're taking too long. This sometimes are uh, makers that are working by themselves and just like a silicone mask for dark ride let them take their time uh you don't want something being done half-assed me i got lucky that i guess he had it made he had probably the um the suit already made he just i don't know what it was but i got it quick so not everybody's gonna get the same tre treatment not everybody's gonna get the, the mask or their suits like uh in a super fast uh manner okay so these are the boots guys Again, I'm far away from the video, I mean from the camera, so I cannot see if you guys can see. I know you guys can see it, but hopefully the camera's picking them up, picking it up. And the last part will be putting on the cow and putting on the gloves. Um, and so far, this is my Batman suit, which I fucking love, guys. I, I just love this mask. I mean, I love this fucking suit. It's just like, it's slim. It goes, uh, from what I know, the nipples, why they put the nipples is because it's based on old armory from uh, from back in the days from hundreds of years ago that's where they got the idea so it kind of like has the nipples i wanted the nipples to keep it as original to the movie i could take them off if i want to they just stuck right there with crazy glue or some type of adhesive but i'm not so far badass one trick for the cow guys this is the hardest part. If putting the suit by yourself is hard, which I couldn't even do myself. This is the hardest fucking part. Excuse my language, but this thing doesn't stretch. Hardly stretches. <laughs> the thing to do is put water around your head, spray it with water, just regular water, and spray the, the cow with water as well. It makes the process easier it kind of like uh, acts like a lubricant to your face so you could slip it off faster now like i said some people like to cut a slit in the bag and put velcro put some zippers but then it takes away from the 
the mass being a, a one piece, in my opinion. Now, I'm not saying you cannot do it. That's your mass, that's your cow. You could do whatever the hell you want, but if you ever want to sell it, it's going to be harder for you. Someone might buy it. It's just in my opinion, once you start uh, messing around with the, the original uh, sculptures, people tend to steer away from you and they'll rather just buy themselves, even if they're going to do the same thing, just because you might did it wrong. But anyways, best thing to do, straight on. Let me get back to the video. I'm going to pause it. Long video. I'll be worth it. Just wait for me, guys. All right, guys, I got it on. Oh shit, wrong armor. <laughs> wrong armor, guys. Uh, just to uh, plain on the side, man. Have this thing too, this badass uh, armor from, what is it called? Nightmare Armors. This suit, this armor was made 15 years ago. It still holds up. It's like fiberglass. I'll make a video of this badass suit. I don't think there's no videos on regarding this suit. Um, it's a little warp, but it's a badass master chief suit i have this suit i have another one coming made out of uh eva foam um hopefully you guys uh, watch that video too but let me get into the the cow the batman cow all right guys the cow is on now i know val kilmer had his face shaved, no mustache on the mask. I mean, on the movie, which I do have. I don't have a big mustache or be big uh, beard. That's from Harley Harley grows. I can't get it to grow even if I wanted to. Um, but uh, yeah, um, I, I didn't shave just, but I did paint in my eyes, not as black as I wanted them. And as I, I started putting the mask, since I put so much water in it, the makeup started pouring down my, my face, which, uh, anyways, uh, it's so hard doing this yourself when you don't have help. But this is the whole suit, guys. And this is what I was talking about, the cow. Why is this my favorite cow as a cosplayer? It kind of like, you don't have to have the perfect face for this mask. It's, it's, I still have, like I said, I have a flat head. I wish the mask will fit just like that, which I know I can fix the bag by putting like some type of foam. So it will sit right next to my, like right up to my eyes. And you see how this makeup is running down because I put so much water so I could put on the cow by myself. Uh, Is it a comfortable cow? Is it a comfortable, uh, is it like perfect fitting for me? Mm. It's not super perfect, but it's not bad. But if you look at an angle, it's just like, it fits my face snug. If I was to, like that, all this makeup running down my my face. Um, if I was to put a little bit of foaming in the back, it will actually push my face to the front where you can see my eyes better. But this is the suit, guys. This is the cow. It's just... Oh my God, it looks amazing. Um, you cannot see on the camera because of the light is reflecting the suit. But the suit is more of a matte finish. This is more of a shiny finish. So it looks like it blends in perfectly. But in reality, um, I wish I could just get the other cow to do the video. But I'll do the video once I get the other cow. Again, guys, like I mentioned um, in the other part of the video, like I mentioned before earlier, it creases so because my the zipper in the back is not all the way to the top. So it, it creases even worse. But if you pat in the inside, if it's perfect, I'm Batman. I had to say, I had to say it. It's just, in my opinion, like, <laughs> tell me this is not like a perfect fucking suit, guys. Oh my <laughs> God. Let me show you guys a, a better, 
and I want to fix the cape to the point that it flows to the back a little bit. Again, it's really hard for me to do this with nobody around to help me. But let me kind of lower down the camera so you guys can see the whole suit and how it does it look once it's on. You won't be able to do any movement. You only could do the, the Batman movement where you cannot move just your neck like uh, Ben Affleck did or actually Chris Bell. You can't. You have to do the Batman the Batman uh, look away. You have to you had to turn your whole body, your whole shoulders. Ooh. Tell me this is not the best Batman Panther suit you ever seen when it comes to cosplaying how uh, I'm Batman. <laughs> Guys, this is just a dream come true as a kid and you guys know some of you guys know I mentioned it before I'm from Mexico uh, I'm grateful to be in this country um, if I would have like literally I would have never probably dreamed to having this in Mexico I actually overall even if I was to be born here I probably never thought about having a suit like this and this freaking makeup is coming all over down down all, all over my face I'm just so happy that I actually have the funds. I have a cool wife that uh, supports me on all, all my ridiculous um, nerdiness. Uh, she's as nerdy as me, but I think I'm just way more nerdy. But uh, my kids love what I like. She loves what I like. And I can't wait to show you guys her Catwoman suit, which we're building, man. And I know this is the um, Van Kil uh, Val Kilmer and Keaton was the one that came out with Returns, but it's pretty much a similar suit, pretty much almost the same, identical, just a little bit different. But guys, the cape, the cape is just, I wish I could just do this right here in the back, but I can't, but you see how it flows, how it moves, it's just amazing. Man, guys, Hope you guys like this video. It's just, see how it flows. And, and I lost a little bit of weight in the past few weeks. So the belt actually fits me smaller. I mean, bigger than when I bought, when I got it from him. Cause I gave him the measurements as, uh, and it was, it fit me, but it was loose, but not too loose. But I was just like, I could fix that. It's pretty easy. Just uh, remove the glue and put a, get it a little bit tighter but guys what can i say i love this it's amazing uh this is a dream come true for me when it comes to suits uh and i can't wait to show you guys my next suit which is gonna have two of them coming in I've, i'm still thinking about if i should get the dawn of just justice bvs batman suit uh it's it's a lot of money but i don't know if i want to get it right now if i uh, should wait but I do, I'm in the process of getting the Master Chief uh, suit. This is by Nimer uh, Armors, which again, this came out 15 years ago. This is a 15 year old uh, armor, which I have the whole thing and I'll do a, um, a video regarding this, which is, it's pretty badass. But I have another one being made to my specific measurements, uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks. And what I'm, which, what I'm more excited about is the Raimi Spider-Man suit, which I'm going to get to. It's a replica. It's an exact replica. So if you love this, you're going to love that Spider-Man suit replica. Hope you guys like this video, guys. Um, I, don't, I, I don't put too much effort in, in editing. Uh, I talk a lot. I get it. <laughs> But it's just like, I'm so excited. I like to give you a little history as I'm talking to you guys. I feel like I'm talking to, to you guys directly. Uh, one thing though, this suit does get a little bit hot. Not too hot, it's breathable. Um, you are wearing like rubber all over your body. Uh, so just prepare for that, but I mean, I, I can't wait to wear this and show it in public. To me, this is like, 
one of those things that you I could check off on my bucket list. I'm not into traveling like other people. I'm into this. So this is what I like. And as a as a nerd, as a as a geek, uh, people tell me why you spend so much money on that. It's too much money. Why don't you go somewhere? Why don't you go to this place? You should spend that money on this. You could save it. Guys, we're here for a good time, not a, long, not a long time. We're here to have fun. At the end of the day, we're not promised tomorrow, and I'm happy buying this stuff. Um, it makes me happy. Uh, I love seeing smiles on kids' faces. When I dressed like Master Chief for this past Halloween, there were so many kids and people just smiling, taking pictures with me. I just love it. Um, it's not for everyone. Uh, and I get it. Uh, I could save my money, put it into something better, something, save it for the future. And I do save money, so don't get me wrong either. I do save my money. Uh, but for me, my first thing is like taking care of my priorities, which I do. Uh, but don't ever let somebody say, this is a stupid wasted money. You should have wasted on something else. If it makes you happy, that's all that matters in the end. Hope you guys love this video. Hope you guys like this video. And hope you guys like Batman just like I do and every superhero in between. And um, hope I make somebody smile today if I, and I give you guys a, a little insight of, uh, um, uh, a little insight and hopefully some of the questions were answered in this video. I did put it a little bit crooked, which uh, I guess is good right there, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, stay tuned. I'll try to make a video at least once every two weeks. Hopefully once every week. Bye-bye. One last thing, guys. This is how Batman's supposed to look after taking this hot-ass suit, this hot-ass rubber cow. Not like in the movies. Like this. Sweaty as hell. Makeup smear all over the freaking place. That's how it's supposed to look. Not clean like he just came out of the shower and did a... Of face scrubbing. Till next time. <laughs>